Right, hello everybody, it's Crystal Light. I hope you're well. Um, obviously, um, as we're getting closer to 11, 11, 11, I do, um, I do believe that it's really important at the moment to be opening up our chakras or just basically balancing and healing them and aligning them. And at the moment, obviously, you know that I work through a pendulum. Um, the other day, I had some guidance on working, opening my ear chakras. Um, and today, I have had some other guidance which I'd like to share from you. Now, obviously, most people know about the main chakras. Um, so, this is the Earth Star Chakra. Um, you have this is so. Let me just introduce you to my teddy bear as well. So I'm going to use him as my patient today. So um, I think he's looking very happy there. Um, right. So basically, um, that's obviously the, where the root chakra is. The sacral chakra is just below your uh, belly button. Your solar plexus is above your waist. Then you have your heart, your throat, and your third eye is between um, your eyebrows and then you have your crown chakra. Now, um, <clears throat> there's also many other chakras in your body, and um, at this time, they're wanting to be sort of cleansed and healed and opened. So I had guidance today to cleanse what's called the past life chakras, um, and also the soma chakra. Now, the past life chakras are actually just behind your ears about three finger widths behind your ears and just a bit up um, just on the bone and they're your past life chakra and your soma chakra is above your third eye just below your hairline so about well here on my teddy bear um, now I've had some guidance today to which I wanted to share with you on how to balance your past life chakras now, just here, it's really important when you're doing crystal healing to ground yourself. And here, I was advised to put a rutilated smoky quartz on the Earth Star Chakra. And then, as basically guided, as you can see, to have almost two sort of mini chakra sets on either side of the ear. Now, obviously, my teddy bear's ears are right up there, but really, this should be... Um, in line with your ears just and then obviously going up so the bottom of your ear would be in line with this red stone here this red jasper and then obviously it's going up and so your head would be in the middle here and then on this side and then for the soma chakra I was guided to put um, a pink calcite or it's sometimes called mangano calcite to show you what it looks like there so that usually goes here just above the hairline now this is going to fall off so i'm just going to put it there for now um actually i was advised to use two of them so as many pink calcites as you have okay right okay so just to go through which chakras were used i mean obviously you can use any sort of similar colored um stones so not chakras which stones um on this side i have my red jasper tangerine, agate, citrine, green jade, um, lapis lazuli, um, that's lepidolite, and um, I think it's called snow quartz. It's sort of like a cloudy clear quartz. And on this side was bricated jasper. So it's, it's red jasper with some hematite in it. Orange calcite, that's actually a rhodochrosite, and you can use that um, instead of like a yellow stone sometimes on your solar equivalent to the solar plexus chakra. Um, malachite, blue howlite, that's artificially colored, that blue howlite. Chlorite and another, so chlorite, chorite, that's a chorite stone, and clear quartz. Um, so as you can see, um, they're just there on either side of your head. And basically, I just laid there this morning for about 20 minutes, just enjoying, relaxing. And 
I didn't feel a lot of different sensations. Um, you might feel something different, but I just had this feeling that, you know, there was things working. I did have more on my soma chakra there. It's almost like I felt something was lifting. Um, so very interesting. I wanted to share this to you. So obviously, you know, please during this time of reawakening, getting closer to all these new energies coming into the earth, please work on your chakras. Um, as you know it's um you know it's healing yourself and as we heal ourselves we are healing um mother earth um that's the best one of the best things you can do is to heal yourself and um as we are all one by healing ourselves we are then healing other people and obviously um mother earth so crystal blessings to you have a wonderful day lots of love from crystal light